Alright. Um, Brock and Tehawa, Brock and Tehoshev. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations unto the brothers and sisters that take heed. Alright. The brother introduced himself. Okay, I'm your Ramya. Um, and we're going to get into Lord's will, um, some history and some prophecies, because we're in the time of prophecy, All right? Um, I wanted to start off with, um, I was looking through this book called The Borgiers, so um, that proud devil that came up last week on the highways, um, he mentioned, because a brother mentioned the Moors, and uh, he had some stupid comment, I forget what it was, but uh, basically he's trying to say that the Moors weren't ruling and they didn't bring anything to Europe. But um, we'll start off with Revelations 20 and 1. Because that's the main point. Okay, so this is Revelations 20 and 1. Um, and it says, and you can break it down, Ark. It says, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Can you hear me? Con. Yeah. Um, you want me to read that verse again? It says, um, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And the bottom of the bottomless pit was a uh, seal for Esau, man. Okay. He saw being uh, chained in the, in the mountain for a thousand years. Because of um, Esau's white well, man, he teaches in the school system that the Europeans ruled the whole of Europe, man. And the uh, Medieval times in the dark ages, what we call the dark ages, was a time of uh, disparity, of uh, uh, no enlightenment. The really dark ages that you uh, us ruling during, let's say, probably like what, the 90 AD all the way up to the 1300s, 1400s. Okay, we were ruling within those uh, times. And, um, and the Edomites, they're not even really back to. Uh, to a Japhetic goddess that the Japhetes worship called Europa. And if you type that in and you look at the picture, you know, it's not a Edomite. Um, verse two, it says, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years. That's, that's Esau, okay? that old serpent, the devil, Satan, that's the so-called That's that, what that scripture is talking about. Because, um, before we go any further, right? What you need to understand is the scripture is not going to tell you every single thing you do it. It's parabolic, it's in uh, symbolisms, metaphor. So you need to have a spiritual mind to actually understand what these what these uh, dark sayings are actually talking about. Okay. Now we understand the etymology of words. We understand the Greek meaning and the Latin meanings of these words, which uh, simple people don't go go into. So when you see a dragon, it doesn't mean there's a red dragon. Physically flying in the air, going around causing chaos to see in the world, man. That's representing Esau and his EU, the, the Roman uh, Empire revised all over again, which you, you have today as the EU in America. Okay. And it says, that, and it's been okay. a thousand years. And that thousand years period is when we were ruling the whole of Europe again, and they were in the Caucasus Mountains, or right, even out of their grandma's skull, man. That, well, that was, that's why they uh, have that. Uh, you ever been to school and they have that? Uh, the evolution of man <laughs> on all fours and they go back to the and they started walking again, but they try to incorporate everybody into that when it was just them. All right. God. Okay. It says, um, and, and by the way, the word dragon that describes this as a dragon, that old serpent, the word dragon means to see keenly. All right. And the most has, has keen sight in this kingdom in this world 
That's why it also says in the book of Ezekiel, I believe the 28th chapter, about thou art wise and Daniel. There is no secret they can keep from me or hide from me. You know, so that's just another side note. Um, verse 3, And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. <laughs> Um, there was even a time um, where they couldn't even speak words. What, what was it? Braille? Braille? I believe. That's how you say it? Where they brailed the sons and they used um, to... Oh, in Job, he's talking about um, braid. Braid. That's, braid. That's it. Yeah. I just, I just sound. You know, there's a, there's this kid movie. Uh, I forgot what it was, man. My, my niece were watching a long time. And there is this, this Edomite baby. With uh, a dinosaur, and all the all the the you know, could do was make noise. That's what you guys were doing for those thousand years, man. You guys had no sense uh -huh. of intelligence at those times. You guys didn't know how to even become uh, an empire. You guys were just being <laughs> a beast as you are. Come and um, at one time, like 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 um, during the time of, for example, like the the Greeks and the Romans where Esau started coming into power, you know, um, they learned from their predecessors, the other nations, you know, the Canaanites, the, the Egyptians, the Babylonians, and um, they, they got cleaned up, so to speak. But during the time again of, of around Septimius Severus, which is like 193 AD, which he had emperors prior to Septimius Severus that were Israelites, but he was the, he was the, he was really the man that that it started with, because his his name even is an omen, which which uh, Septimius Severus Septimius is seven. That's where you get the word uh, September from the month. That's the seventh month, and Severus means to sever, cutter of seven. So what is it implying that he's? What is the cutting of seven? Is the cutting of the seven heads of the beast in Revelations? So he symbolically he cut. He, he cut the Edomite rulership, so to speak. You know, uh, I was just trying to find a scripture in Daniel about um, how basically what the Mosai did to Esau. There's a good example of it in Daniel about what he did to the king of Babylon. How he made him uh, a beast among the field, man. Hmm. Um, one second. At the end of the day, right? Uh, you can't say this not to be ruling anything. So he, he was only here for a so, second. So like you said? He said Esau was only uh, here to be a whooping stick. He's not really meant to rule. Uh, that's why we're in um, the time of his kingdom falling down. And Esau don't know why do you think he searches the scriptures so digitally to make sure that. Uh, Come out. Even if there's truth, he adds confusion to it because he understands well the kingdoms do rise and kingdoms do fall, and he doesn't want his kingdom to fall. That's why he'll fight to the bitter end. Uh, but they have to be by any means necessary, and that's what he's pulling right now. Any means. Right. Uh, he also might come in right now. Uh, okay. All right. Um, I found the scripture though. So let's see, this is um, 4 and 31. While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee, and they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee. Until I know the <laughs> You're about to go back down to that beast state. Okay. You're seeing um all the kingdoms that you used to rule departing from you. That's um there was a news broadcast that just came out, but now they're trying to um they got rid of a few uh Russian representatives. It, throwing back more sanctions on Russia because you know that every every nation is starting to follow Russia's lead, man. The, then they're departing from you. You know, it's the, it's the same thing that happened in Babylon. It's happening to you right now. That's how you know that this place is 
spiritually Babylon, Rome, and Greece all over again because everything that you have done throughout the century or all these kingdoms that have fallen throughout the century is coming at you at once, you know? Copy. That's right. No, I'm just I'm just trying to get um the link to it, brother. But back here it says I can put it in the chat. It says until until thou know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. You know, because people think that um you know it's just man and his doings, but it's really it's a it's Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash that sets men up, you know, in rulership. Right? Um That's why that's why Esau's a fool thinking that it's his own power that actually got him there. Um there's a scripture actually in Isaiah. Um I don't know exactly where it is that says that he uh, believeth in his heart that he um uh, raised in his own strength, that's the paraphrasing. Um it's like I said again. There's, there's a scripture in Isaiah where it says that he, he says that, that he uh, ruled the nations in his own strength or conquered nations in his own strength. Just roughly. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't recall that. Mm -hmm. um, so back here it says, oh, verse 33, the same hour. Oh, you found it? Um, it's Isaiah 10 and 13. For he said, by the strength of my hand have I done it. Oh, con, con. That's a bad scripture, man. That's really talking about Esau, mm -hmm. that whole thing. We, we, we could really start at, um, that's one of my favorite scriptures. We could start at like verse five, I think. That's where it starts. Yeah, yeah, verse five. Like, you can start there and then we'll jump around. Um, Isaiah chapter 10. Um, um, you asked it then. So, um, in their hand is mine indignation i will send Con. so it says it says oh syrian the rod of mine anger so when you read it you think oh this is talking about the ancient assyrian kingdom but it's as we read on you're going to find out it's talking about esau because like like you brought out the the scriptures are in parables the scriptures are um in allegories you know and it's not for the most part made plain unto men that's why um in revelations it says um who is able to um uh loose the seven seals you know and basically get the understanding which was Yahweh and he gave the understanding unto the men, you know, to, to the apostles and, and to the elders on down. So the Syrian is talking about Esau because Esau today, his whole kingdom is just an amalgamation, a, a mix up of all the prior kingdoms. That's why you'll see Phallic temples, you'll see a uh, uh, um only in worship Babylon, anyway through uh, nimrod simramis tammuz but it branched off into the egyptians the canaanites uh the assyrians all these different kingdoms so go ahead he's trying to do it on his pc i just told him to add me nothing um continuing uh verse six says i will send him against an hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath, will I give him a charge? Hey, and who's that, man? Who's, who's, who's the hypocritical nation? That's Jake, man. You know, because what does the word hypocrite means? It means actor, right? So, Jake, 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 Jake um, doesn't this in, um, I believe that's Isaiah. These people praise me with their lips, so this roughly paraphrasing, but in their heart, they imagine wickedness. You know, um, and this, this scripture is a bad scripture, man, because it proves, first of all, it called Esau the rod of his anger, of the Mosai's anger. And and he, and he the Mosai said he's going to send a, him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath, which right now we're the people of the Mosai's wrath. Why? Because we're, we're still under Deuteronomy 28, man. You know, and the Mosai is about to get 
down and dirty, man, killing Jake. A lot of Jake, man. See this the reason why you guys are such a hypocrite nation because the most of the understanding of the Muslim family. That's why you guys can you guys don't believe it. That's right. Because you guys can't even imagine a whole nation being cursed. A lot of you, if you were to say that a whole nation is cursed, you'd be like, what are you talking about? We were, we were, <laughs> and we, were, we were the dumb ones. Well, yeah, in a sense, you're right. We were the dumb ones for going off of the last of commandments in the first place. But it's a supernatural thing that's happening to us as a whole. There's, there's no way that every nation on the planet is, is, is together, has an empire, and we're supposed to be the best nation, better than all these other nations. You think we can't get it together? Man, that's that's a hot thing, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna continue in this. It says, and I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath, but like give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the street. Hey, can you look up the word uh charge in that scripture in the blue letter of the Bakusha? Because um that's Isaiah 10 and 6. Um, because that that, that that shows you the Lord, he gave the green light, like polite. Polite can't wrap his mind around that the reason we were colonized is because of our wickedness. That's why you see him spazzing out, asking, you're telling me we deserve slavery? You're telling me, God? Like, you know, he, he goes on his feminist rant. This is the scripture right here. It tells you, I will give him a charge to take the spoil, meaning we became a complete spoil. Our men became spoiled, our women became spoiled, and our children became spoiled. And all aspects that surround that, you know? We, we basically became Esau's property, you know? And you can do whatever the hell you want with your property. So the Mosai gave us up for a spoil, man, um, you know? You want to look at some... Uh history on that just look at slavery they free labor man come on. come on that's right and then not even the credit to go along with the free labor they just covered up like oh you, you niggas didn't build this shit you indians didn't build this shit what are you talking about you guys are <laughs> drug addicts and, and and drug dealers you know and then didn't it say what does it say down here to tread them down like the mire of the streets what is mire it means shit so <laughs> it was bad man you know yeah, but it was a Mosai that did it. Ver, verse seven. I'll go ahead. Um, I got that charge that you wanted. Oh, it's the water, the water. Um, let me make it. Page sixty-six eighty. Sava, Sava. All right, uh, Sava, and it means to command, charge, give orders, lay charge, give charge to order. Um. So the most I gave the order, man. There's one nice one right here. It says a point ordain of divine act. Damn. That all goes back to Deuteronomy 28. Damn. Right back to Deuteronomy 28. That's right. But I should have a doubt. I'll continue. Uh, verse 7 says, How be it? He meaneth not so, neither does his heart think so, but in it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. Khan, and what does that mean? People read it and they start bugging out. What it means is you don't have free will. Because it says, he meaneth not so, neither does his heart, which the word heart in Hebrew, lab, meaning mind, neither does his mind think so. But it is in his mind or heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. So meaning he's wired like that. He's programmed like that. It's in Esau's nature to destroy and to kill, man. He, 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 he doesn't even know what the hell he's doing because none of us really do because we're, we're, we're just being uh, controlled by the Mosai, you know. And Mosai pre-wires, pre so to speak, or whatever terminology you want to use, when you come on earth to, to, to what specific nationality you are. And we can jump down to verse 12, Hawk. Uh, uh, verse 12. It says, Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout. Right. And Salaki, that's that, that's um that means when the curses are fully lifted off us, man. You know, when the Mosai hath performed his whole work, 
which is us going down and then the elect being risen up. Go ahead. It says, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria in the glory of his high look. Huh. And 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 which 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 king of Assyria is talking about? It's talking about the Assyrians. You know? Um a key hint here is stout. And how you can link this up is Daniel 7, when it talks about America, the little horn, it actually says that his look was more stout than his fellows, man. That's in, that, that, that's in the book of Daniel 7. So th there's two links right there, or there's a link right there. Yeah, you know? I, but it's going to break it down further even. I, I even got the word stout in that verse. Um, you Go Dale. Go Dale, and it says greatness, uh, magnitude, magnificent pride, bad sense. Kind of, that's why it says his look was more stout than his fellows, meaning America's that badass, proud, um, proud nation, right? That's why they had a saying. Um, I don't know if it was the Navy or the, the Air Force. They said, but they said Air nothing Force. can take down. Yeah. The Air Force, but nothing can do the Air Force, not even oh, they used to have a thing like that, you know. Mm -hmm. through the Titanic, one can sink the, the ship, not even God himself. So they would, they would be very famous with these kind of statements, even mm -hmm. though they have in God we trust, which we know what, you know. Um, verse 13. This, for he saith, by the strength of my hand have I done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent. That's why they call themselves Illuminati, enlightened ones, Luciferians. You know, because they think they have it. They think they have the top knowledge, but the Most High is revealing the top knowledge through his men. This is the top knowledge on the earth, man. Yeah. You know? Okay, if I can get a quick precept. Um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians... Um, like the first Corinthians chapter 3 verse uh, 18 and it says let no man deceive himself if any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world let him become a fool that he may be wise for the wisdom of this world is fool foolishness with the most high for it is written he take up the wise in, in, in their own craftiness and that goes back to the councils because um they, they even think that whatever they come up with, whatever they bring out, what type of weapons they have to fight against, them, they're going to prevail. It's to the point where they believe that they are higher than the Most High himself. They're trying to correct uh, the food. They're trying to recreate new animals. And then they, and they put it on the masses as if it's normal to uh, mix and match species or it's normal to take away seeds that naturally reproduce and create laboratory food you know it's it's just crazy and that's why you have so I feel. yeah you basically just can't eat him out of his oh. he's graphing on everything and splicing things right oh. which is so everything that is against the uh, most I will right what does he say by his own hand, man? Because he, he believes that he's doing this by himself. Man. He believes that he's the one uh, uh, creating all these so-called uh, tech, this 5G, not knowing that it's the most like giving you guys the knowledge to really destroy yourself. Not to go to give you guys any possibility. Is it to ultimately destroy yourself? Because if you if people really knew all this technology and what it's doing to you, it's actually causing you more harm than benefits, all right? Yeah. And that's why the that this wisdom is actually foolish because you guys are actually bring more harm and destruction to yourselves than um reproduction than um upliftment even that your very vibration is a self destruction uh self destruct switch man it's a timer that's why in the most of the time right because if you just if you left everything to just be as it is now there would be no one left on this planet none yeah, and then, um, like you said, this technology, it's, it's not really wisdom. 
because it, it doesn't really benefit us. It actually is a detriment to your health. And psychologically, that's why they have studies about smartphones and addiction. You know, people can't function without their goddamn smartphones. So this 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 technology is clearly left hand side wickedness working. Um and uh as like the scripture says in uh Sirach, in the Apocrypha, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom because wisdom doesn't hurt you. Right. <laughs> Evident. Um, I'm gonna continue. It says, and by wisdom, well, so like, yeah, I'll start a little bit. Uh, Isaiah 10 and 13, for he saith, by the strength of my hand, I have done it. And by my wisdom, for I am prudent. And I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed their treasures and have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. Con, and, and um, again, you can link, one scripture comes to mind is uh, the book of Job where it says some remove with the landmarks. That's I believe 1220. But again, you can link this and, and, that, and that shows you, man, who the hell this is talking about. It's not talking about a, uh, any Assyrian king. It's, this is talking about Esau, you know, because he, he just boasted himself, I have removed the people's bounds. You know, um, he has robbed their treasures, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't find it right now. Yeah. I don't what you're saying. Basically, with the landmarks, Esau has changed the landmarks and upset prophets. Changing Iran, I mean, uh, Persia to Iran, um, certain parts of Europe to different names, naming continents, and so forth. You know, establishing his um, own. Oh. And he's going to upset prophets. It's uh, Job 24 and 2, I have to. Oh, can't do it. Yeah. Um, it says here, Job 24 and 2. Some remove the landmark, violently mm -hmm. take away flocks and feed thereof. Yeah, kind. And the, the key word is violently. And then again, you can link this up with, um, uh, there's a scripture in Ezekiel about the, a, a bloody and violent man. So again, this, this is how you... This is how you. Uh, 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 this is how the scriptures work: precept upon precept, line upon line. And it actually says, "For precept must be upon precept," because that's the way the scriptures are. Uh, uh, th this is how you coordinate through the scriptures, for the most part. Go on. I have a quick precept. Go to the landmarks. Go on. This is Ezekiel uh, thirty-five and ten. Because I was said, these two nations and each these two countries shall be known. And we will possess it, whereas the landmarks are not going to be there. And that's how they removed the landmarks because we came and we wanted this country. But they didn't want people to understand that um, they stole it. There wasn't really anybody living here. That's why you don't see any Hebrew writings or stones or statues or treasures here. And you don't really see them on display either. You know, they have them in the Vatican. And they don't leave them. When you go, when you go down to um, even Russia, right? Though um, we were conquered, our, our uh, history, like our paintings and the energy, are still there. You can go to a new room and still see them. You know, things, things of that nature. That was it. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So back to uh, Isaiah, right up? Yeah, come on. I think I think that was that is on the last uh, verse. I think you want to keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going to verse uh, fifteen. Okay, fine. Uh, Isaiah ten and fourteen. In my hand has found the riches of the people, and as one gathers eggs that are left, have I gathered all the earth. And there was none that moved the wing, or opened the mouth, or peep. I mean, this Come is. On. Yeah, and, and that's why I told you, you got to read this because this one, this verse actually proves it's not talking about the Assyrians because the Assyrians didn't conquer shit, you know? You had the Assyrians, then you had uh, the Babylonians, the Neo-Babylonians that came, and their ter their territory was uh, big, man. But then you had the Persians come, and they had over 127 provinces, the, the Medo-Persian Empire. Right? So, but even then, 
that wasn't the whole earth. So who is it talking about when it says, uh, I've gathered all the earth, right? You can read on. Yeah, and, uh, and remember that scripture, it says uh, the whole earth was still, I believe, um, basically when Esau was doing his wickedness, you had these nations subjected to him and you had these nations help him because that was the time of Esau's rulership, man. So no one can utter a peep, man. Verse 15, it says, Shall the ass also suffer the king that he with their root? And shall the saw magnify itself against him that shake it? As if the rod should take, as if the rod should shake against them that lift it up, and as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no one. That's a heavy, that's a heavy comparing and that's and that's okay he doesn't understand that it's the most like backing you with the power right you just take away every single power which you're doing now you know all, all your military all your uh influences you know even the people you just you with no I did that. So clearly, you don't have power. And the same technology that you're using, you're using the same elements that the earth already produced. It's not like you're making it out of thin air. You need the earth elements to produce what you're making. Shalom, Mark. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, 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 ya bashim ya shabakatam. Ya bashim ya shay, bashim akakatash, bakatam. Uh, Slaki, I, uh, I was um, having a little trouble figuring this thing out. Yeah, Satan freak froze my laptop, so I gotta do it off the phone, it's okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, what's going on? What's, what's breaking bread? We're just getting in on history, prophecy, but, um, Getting into the medieval ages. Oh, oh my God, this is good on that one right there. One second, one second. Um, anyone had anything after that? Uh, I still had Daniel though, Barbara from um the the Nebuchadnezzar. So this is back in Daniel four. Um, how we were getting into how the Mosai made uh Isa a beast. So this is Daniel four. And 33 it says the same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar, and he was driven from men and did eat grass as oxen, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hairs were grown like eagles' feathers, <laughs> and his nails like birds' claws. Wow. Okay. Hey, um, I I use the word beast real quick. Um, it says beast. Twelve hundred. It says one of the lower animals. Men, especially a four-footed animal, also a marvelous creature, a monster, werewolves. <laughs> 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 it's a the beast of an uh a beast or stupid says a wild beast 
cool. Like, goes back to uh, Day 30 and 8. God. They, they, they're children of fools, man. Man, that's the most highly common in the one of the most people that you consider you a man. That's right. Um, and I have a precept. This is Psalms 49 and 12. There's two verses here. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beast that perish. And then verse 20 says, man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perish. Yeah. So if you don't have these laws, you know, you're like a beast, man. Because huh. these laws, they keep you in order. The, the dietary law. You see these people eating all these crazy fucking foods, man. You know? And then that food makes you even bug out more. Yes. Um, frying your uh, pineal, they like to call it. Okay. Huh. So that, that Daniel 4 and 34... It says, and at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lift up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me, and I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. And see, the Most High can literally, he can he can bug you out, man. Like, you know, we use the term freely and in, in, in a humorous way, but he can actually bug you out, like literally take your understanding from you. And that's exactly what he did to Esau. So you get understanding. He had them fucking eagle's claws. You know, he, he couldn't talk. He didn't understand. He was on his belly, you know? And then one day the Mosai gave back that understanding. Yeah. high on drugs, man. They do the weirdest things. No, <laughs> uh, uh, example of what Nebuchadnezzar was going through. He was going through all types of things. You know, you know that's why we talk about being one by two years. Okay. That was it. But um, I had a, I had a reading from this book um called the borgiers you can get into it by marion johnson um let me see if i could get it on the camera awesome. right and um i'll just read from page 163 so this is getting into the Caesar Borgia being painted as the new Christ. And this is actually an illustration that they have in the book of uh, Caesar, you know, being painted as a Lord. Right? If you can see that. No. Right? And it's, you can't see it? No. I just need to keep speaking. Oh, I see some there. Yeah. It's, not, it's on uh, the Bible. Page, uh, down here when you read this part the yellow part it says portrait sketches of caesar by leonardo da vinci after the fall of milan and of his patron uh, leonardo found employment with caesar as his chief engineer his main tasks being to supervise fortifications All right so this is proof when brothers say um Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo were, were uh, hired by the Borgias to paint him as, as the new Christ. And down here it says, um, I'll, I'll go to page 164, or it's like 166. And this is talking about the Borgias, man, how dirty they were, right? So it says, uh, Caesar was now poised for another predatory uh, flight. And in the meantime, seemed to rule his father with such sinister intent that Romans imagined their Pope to be possessed by a succubus <laughs> it says <laughs> saying how demonic he was it says virulent or vir virulent pamphlets utterly damned alexander and his offspring because <laughs> that's how wicked he was alexander being the um, alexander the sixth uh the, the father of caesar borgia who was a pope 
-hmm. And this is a quote. It says, these are the days of Antichrist. <laughs> wow. It says, um, his enemies proclaim to the world. And it says, the bestiality and savagery of Nero and Caligula are surpassed, which were two prior Roman emperors. So, he he surpassed said, Caligula. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> hey I, he, there's a whole movie the apostles told us about Caligula on YouTube, man. I couldn't watch the whole thing, but it was yeah, it's um, hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we watched it at our bars one time. You, you watched it. Yeah, man. Holy, that that was hard stomach, man. Especially yeah. first coming in. Yeah. Those were some wicked ass Edomites, man. Narrow. You know. Oh, man. Yeah. I got a um. One more sentence, and I'll get get the scripture. But this is what it says: Rodrigo Borger, who is also Alexander. Is an abyss of vice. <laughs> He's an abyss of vice, man. Someone look up the word vice on Adam online, Babakusha. A subverter of all justice. <laughs> A wicked. Wicked, man. Villain. Villainy, hey, man. That's why, that's why it really says, man, um, you know, the devil uh, coming out of that. That old serpent coming out of the bottomless pit. That, that, that devil right here. <laughs> that's your Jeezy Creasy right there. That's your that's your um your God that you praise every every day, man. The, wicked ass. the God of leprosy. <laughs> Waste man. I got a priest of this little brother. Gone, brother. This book is Psalms 12 and um, I got the answer. 12 and 8. It says, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. <laughs> well, and he, like it said, he's worse than Caligula. Like, what? Yo, that's, that's madness, man. Yeah. And um, this other one here, this is a book of Proverbs, chapter 30 and 21. It says, For three things the earth is disquieted, and for four, which I cannot bear. So he says, well, three things the earth is just quiet and for the earth, he couldn't bear it. All right? It's just for a servant when he ruleth, because these these devils, they go back to us, and they're our servants in, in all reality. Kind. But now they're being exalted as, as, um, as uh, you know, as the scriptures in the book of Ecclesiastes, that he's servants upon the monkey, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. So these three devils, they're above us and they're ruling. So we should be disquieted. And the earth is disquieted as you see the world uh, in mourning, right? When the hey, remember it says, days that are younger than I. Come, have me in the river. Right. That's right. That's right. Uh, let me help finish off here. Verse 20. For a servant when he reigneth, and a fool when he is filled with meat. I don't know. I'll finish there. Servant when he's filled with meat. So, you know, they've, they've, been, uh, they've enjoyed life deliciously, man. These bougiers, these elites, you know? Claiming, claiming to be us at the same time, man. Eh? You know, that's right. And um, you had a precept. The word. Oh, con, con, con. Um, is it vice? Huh? Is it vice? Yeah, vice. Okay. It says moral fault, wickedness, fault, failing, default, irregularity, misdemeanor, um, blemish, offense, both physical or moral sense in medieval Latin, uh, vaccin, yantum, yantum, It says source of that Italian viso usage it is um, yeah so it, it, it described him as an abyss of vice man so basically he was an abyss of wickedness <laughs> abyss meaning like a he was like in a in a in a depth in a in a deep pit. yeah he was in the Wicked shit thing? pools of abyss wow <laughs> shit pools of vice <laughs> no, that's the old old English term right there, there man that's serious <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, 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 you know what? Since you're there, Gabarba, look up the word abyss. A B Y S S. That's a pit of, pit of hell, man. He came out of. So we can we can visualize. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, I got it. Uh, a, a lake of contention and abyssus, uh, depths of the earth or sea. Uh, and, uh, early Hit hell. <laughs> um, on phantom, hence then enormous, unfathomable. Um, the great death of the underworld. Yeah, so he was like a well of of wickedness, basically. Yeah. You know, the more the more down you go to rabbit hole, the more shit you find. Dance, dance, right? up with that, man. I had a another uh, a reading from the from the book. Um, this is from page one fifty six. It says, as crime continued to thrive in Rome, so too did the Borgias, the great beneficiaries of a criminal papacy or papacy. Mm. So their 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 rule or papacy was deemed criminal. <laughs> These were hey, that's why the apostles when they when they first brought out the information on this date, they I always remember them saying this is the first crime family out of Europe, man. Um yeah, that was it. Is that preset? This is the one. Okay. My luck, you gotta adjust your uh, audio level. Yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, it said uh, adjust the audio level. You good? I guess it's better. It's better? Oh, shoot. Thanks, so old stock. You hold on a second. Okay? Like, I think I got a... You had a precept, Gabarba? Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. You can hear me, though, right? I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, I can hear you. It just fades in and out sometimes, but I can hear you better. I don't know why it does that. Turn me up a little bit. This is a uh, second testimonials, chapter two, because when it goes here, right? And, uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Something just came up. I got one. You guys be on uh, in in five minutes. I'll be back. All right. Kind of. Kind of. All right. This is Second Testament chapter two verse three. To let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come the following point, and that means sin be revealed between tradition. And that means. Look up the word uh in this chapter. Chapter can hear me, right? You guys can hear me? Go on. Yeah. Um it says okay. And it says, destroying utter destruction of vessels, perishing ruin, destruction, <laughs> destruction which consists of eternal misery and hell. And this is not uh, what he brings. You know, Esau brings eternal misery and hell. And it started with their family taking over the church. Uh, but the elder uh, read in his book, man. So you couldn't imagine what people, or how people felt when they took the rule. They're probably like, oh, shit. Devil alive, like across with the devil is alive. You know, 
Um, <laughs> and it goes on to say, uh, verse three, verse four, who clothed and exalted himself of all that is called the Most High, and that is worshipped, so that he is the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High, and that's what uh, the family has done. So called power and she get our God. Hey, um, elder, when the uh, Edomite came by, man, they had that. Mm. He created every. Oh yeah, he had that pomp spirit, man. What did what did what did he say? I am God. You know, it's yeah. really and just a joke. You know, you a six pack loser. Imagine how Fine. top of the, the top, yeah. <laughs> you know? Um. It says, yeah, man, these Edomites, that's how they feel because for years, man, since we've been out there and, and they come up and they're proud as hell and and we don't take that shit from Esau. You know, we'll talk we'll talk down to you because they talk down to us as soon as they open their mouth. Hey, hey, boys. Yeah. Hey, hey, boys doing today. You know, so so we'll, we'll, we'll talk that shit back to you. And they get mad because we're not no regular Jake, man. You know, regular Jake is They'll hail you up, the daps you, you know, hey, hey, brother, you know, they'll call, you know, you know what Jake is, man. And then, but we'll talk down to you, man. We'll, we'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll put you in your place. And Esau gets proud and they get mad and they start yelling because they know they're in rulership and a bunch of niggas on the corner talking shit to them. They say, hold on, something's out of place here. <laughs> yeah. Something's not right. Because they couldn't have computing <laughs> computing error <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know? and then they have then they know they're in a the rulership then they call 911 but then when the centurions come you know it's it's the lord that defends us man right. and he gives us that insight yeah. how to deal with them because i remember one time <laughs> i remember someone left a comment they said um why do, why doesn't the city just slap these guys with a bunch of fines they said, why don't well, <laughs> Why doesn't why doesn't uh Toronto police just come and arrest these guys? You know, because people are mad. You know, but 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 it's good that they're that you're mad. You know, because we're supposed to be, as it says in Isaiah, watchmen day and night. You know, not resting, man, crying day and night, man. We're supposed to be irritants to people, like a pestilence. <laughs> <laughs> Inside <laughs> it says, <coughs> be revealed, and whom the Lord Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's beautiful, man. <laughs> Wait, because the spirit of his mouth is these scriptures, this right here, man. So you're beginning to be devoured through these words, man, through these um to the sword. But then when Yahweh actually comes physically, he's gonna destroy you, man, with 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 the chariots, the angels and the elect. Um, it says God. verse nine it says, even him coming after the working of Satan, the Oh no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All the conceivable of unrighteousness, and then that perish. And that's what this whole thing is about. They kind of do this of the truth because they're trying to show you the transparency that what you think or feel or believe is right is not actually right. And there is a standard of what's wrong and what's right. Everybody's now trying to make whole concepts of history, make concept. Just like uh, that, you know, that came up at the time we into now, and we're like, uh, dark people ruled Europe. No, no, but it's there. Even when you showed in the Council of Nicaea of, of, of the old paintings, he, he he found his hand at it. The majority of the world thinks like, you know, because uh, Edomites the when they took over, they they backflipped and they turned it upside down. Um, there's a documentary I've heard. Not what the documentary is called, but it, it was how they would hold their council. And one of them was saying, um, what is the um, it looks like I saw some people 
uh, leave that horizontal. This is a beautiful chunk of it. Just like these, are kind of thing. I kind of try and figure out, make people believe the lie that we have already told to keep it that way, because that's their power. You know? I actually had a precept or um, a point from another book. Since you mentioned the uh, kinoclasm, um, this is called uh, the Art and Architecture of Medieval Russia. It's a bad book, man, by Arthur Voice. All right, there. Um, this is from page 95. It says, Mosaics and frescoes. It says, although only a small part of the original cathedral and its mosaics have survived, hint, hint, <laughs> there is still much to be admired in the imposing dimensions of its interior, its fine proportions, and the luxuriant mosaics and frescoes. Uh, many of the latter still in a good state of preservation after 900 years are wonderful specimens of a great age in ecclesiastical art. But the work of restoration, 1853 to 54, while approached by Professor F.G. Sol C. with pity and respect for the original, was executed rather crudely. Many of the frescoes were disfigured. <laughs> I had a word for I had a word for the word uh, fresco. Kind of. Yeah, it says here a painting done. Basically, in a wet plaster on a wall or ceiling, so that the colors penetrate the plaster and become fixed as it dries. Mm -hmm. Fun. Um, many of the frescoes were disfigured, and in the 1880s, some of the mosaics were also subjected to restoration. These devils use these terms. You don't know what the hell these terms mean, but they're just telling you they're uh, destroying images, right? And in the pro and in the process, the original elements were covered over with paint. Mm -hmm. So they're telling you right there, man, that, that they're, um, you know, it's iconoclasm. And I had one more quick point, uh, page 228. It says, uh, while Nov Novgorod, which is a city imbued with old traditions, <laughs> this is the point, was adhering to dark flesh, <laughs> it says idealization of expression simplicity of composition and close harmony between its figures and background um, Moscow strove for picture 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 quiness used warmer colors more accurately portrayed human forms and endowed human features with a certain grace and worldly expression. And this is all Esau just being a devil, because he just said there's dark flesh. Yeah. But after that, they, they started using warmer colors, more accurately portraying human forms, blah, blah, blah. And that's why when we, when we showed him those images, he said, oh, those are just old images um, that, uh, that through time they became darker. Yeah, you know, or 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 oh, any any image that has a little brown in it, you guys are saying those guys are black, you know, like trying to talk his shit basically. But at the end, right, like, uh, show you that Esau feels um that he's inferior because when he sees uh colored people in, in uh in ancient times ruling and stuff like that, it comes to show you that you know, we can always get back to that position. You know, Esau doesn't want to. Believe that we had something higher than than being a slave because that put in your head that if they could achieve that, what is it that again? And we're going to achieve that again. This has been probably our but you know, that's right. You'd be um, and then that's the next the next thing he was doing, right? Their defense mechanism, what Esau does is make jokes because he doesn't, he doesn't want to take the history seriously. Then he's probably went home and he's probably like, oh shit, bro, like, yo, these guys know who they are, you know, the history of their background, like, other than being slaves. Like, this is actually a good time to actually uh, know the true history, to be who you really are, because soon being black is going to perish with being white. You know, color, two colors, 
God. You know? Yeah, and, and that's why he's like, oh, he's laughing. He's having a good time. And he's like trying to crack jokes and make everyone laugh and shit. No sound. Yeah. yeah. And I hated that because it was just irritating me. You know, every, every time he was trying to make jokes, he's looking around, trying to see if anyone uh, is with him, man. Let's see if there was a black woman there, so called black woman there, man. It would have been him. Oh, man, that would be his biggest fan. I think the most sad she was in there that day. Yo, that's uh, bench, the bench. <laughs> that's um a, man, a man's excessive laughter and gait show you what he is and if he's you know trying to dodge and, and get away from the answer or the question that's what uh that's what isa does as a serpent man he just dances around shit you know yeah because then because um one brother pronounced the word edam wrong he said edam and he's like oh it's edam it's pronounced etymology and then that's why i asked him okay so what does the word edam 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 mean or etymology mean he's all oh, your mom Cause he can't tell me, <laughs> you know. Oh, he, he saw he saw wants to. Oh, it's pronounced this way, and then you ask him, okay, what does the word mean? Oh, I don't know, you know. Or you <laughs> just talk some shit, you know. Base man, and the fools they say. And that's we... you know you get those corny ass jokes from Esau because Jay hangs around them. That's all Esau says, man. Oh, your mom, your mama. You know, or the faggot ass jokes, man. Oh, my dick and all this shit. It's all, it's all for me, saw man. And then you Jake's think it's cool, and then you start doing it. Yeah, that's that's true. That's the spirit because to, uh, today I was um I, I was on Instagram and I was commenting over um someone saying that Edom wasn't the so called white man. This is a Jake saying that Edom isn't the, the white man. So I said, I asked him. Then who is Esau? And then he started. This Jake started to go off and start talking about my <laughs> avatar. My avatar. The fact that I have, I don't have a picture on my Instagram avatar. So he's dodging the the question, and he's he's he's. And man, I was just, I'm like, man, this is something Esau would do, man. God. Get to the damn content, man. Let's get into into a mature discussion. And he he just kept every every comment that he put on my. On on the message was was a was a dude laughing with with tears out his eyes, man. Like like it's a funny joke, you know. That's Jake right now, man. Like, uh, that. So, man. so emotional, like Carl Thomas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all the all, all the all, I bet I bet today um he shared a meme of Stephen Hawk dying. <laughs> <That's the nigga>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rest in, rest in peace, man. I have a preset. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. I had something. something, but it was just uh, what um what uh, Elder Awar was talking about. It's uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus uh, 11 and um, 2. Commend not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man. For his outward appearance, come, come, because um, for example, when John the Baptist came on the scene, our people judged him based on his outward appearance, but not on on the, the amount of wisdom and the fact that the Spirit of the Lord was upon him. To, to, as the Scripture said, the Spirit of the Lord was upon me that I may preach the gospel unto the meek. All right, and the, and the people at that time who who looked at John in a um, in a carnal way, they were. They respected uh, a man's outward appearance. So when they saw John, you know, moving funny, he, yo, I won't, I won't. You know, hey, I, basically, Jake, Jake has something to say for any occasion. You can't please Jake, man. That, that's true. It's I like got the woman. precept since, since you brought it out about John. I'll bring it out quickly. Break it down, Awar. This is Matthews 11 and uh, 16. But whereunto shall I like in this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, we have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you and ye have not lamented. All right, so, so the, the marketplace is, uh, in the Greek is Agora, which means of the marketplace downtown, the cities and the, and the highways and the broadways, the man the Lord called to be out there because that's where the, the waters are. All right, that's so people are going back and forth, you know? And um, uh -huh. when he says we piped onto you, we're telling you that you're an Israelite. You're supposed to be jumping with joy. That's the gospel, man. All right, Yahweh Shai can deliver the elect. You're supposed to be joyous. 
All right, go ahead, Doc. Uh, so, Quan? Yeah, and, 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 and also it says, and um, we have mourned unto you. And what is what is there to mourn about? That's what Jake says. Oh, wh why are you guys so mad? You guys are angry. You guys mm -hmm. look too angry. You guys hate everybody, you know? But there's a lot to mourn about. That's why it says, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, a wise, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. And right. you, Jakes, you don't even know you're being oppressed, man. Mm. You know? Verse 18, for John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he had the devil. <laughs> mm, wow. Totally low. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. Exactly. Wisdom is justified of her children, man. So um, back then, they probably looked at, like, today, they probably look at a Jake and say, oh, you look like you're pushing Obi or something, like, from the islands. They probably saw John be like, yo, you pushing Obi back then, you know? Um, Nothing new under the sun. They thought he was, like, a... a hey, brother, matter of fact, since you said that, um, one day, Jake, actually, he came up, and, and we were cursing a woman. And he said, yo, I don't know what kind of thing go on here. There's some, there's some, there's some blood clot obia thing. <laughs> so which, so witchcraft. <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. That's, and then that's why we had to curse him. We had to put a curse on his ass, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because guess what? We're, we're doing that on the right-hand side, man. But Jake <laughs> actually looks at us like we're the bottom of the pond scum, man. Like we're going to hell. There's a place called hell, and we have first-class tickets to that place. <laughs> and he had some, he had some nasty ass fentanyl consuming Edomite whore with a man talking about the black woman is God. Oh, shit. Calm down. Jake's crazy, man. That's why you know what, man. You can't please Jake, man. Just, just, just do the job that the Lord gave us, man. Okay. You know. Hey. I uh, if I just comment on that quick, <laughs> I'll never get the hell out of here. We'll be stuck here forever. Eternal damage. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm stuck in a sunken place. <laughs> it's a sunken place. Yeah. And then the bear, the bear, the dead man. The dead bear, the dead man. But, uh, go ahead, I have a preset. I don't have anything. Try. Um, this is um, this is uh, Luke twenty one and fifteen. It says, "For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to be seen nor resist." And that's why they talk shit after, because we're hitting them with facts, pulling out all all the uh, scriptures, the back of what we say. And as and soon as they get confounded, <laughs> comes to heart, man. All now it, it, it becomes a, a, a club party of philosophy. You got everybody gang banging their philosophy together to try to come up against right. us. You know, they, they bring him to the hey, well, you know what it is? It's just the uh, Epicureans coming back, man. All they did all day, it tells you in the book of Acts, they just sat around for some new thing to come by. That's all they did. And, 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 and if you want a visual, if you want a visual of that today, just just go to Harlem, man. We're a Sonnetta. Just watch Sonnetta TV. That's, that's, um, th those are the Epicureans and the, um, and the so, Stoics. Two thirds, two thirds were people like that. Look what happened when Black Panther came, came out. Mm -hmm. oh, but he was, was an African. Every, everyone's an Athenian, right? Everyone in the book of Acts, the Athenians. They want to hear something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. If you can find that, I'm trying to. I got the stoic one, but I don't. I don't. I don't know where that one is. That's Acts. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's Acts 17 and now 22. It oh yeah, says, yeah, yeah. You want to read it? As a poem? No, no. no that, that, yeah, that that that's where I was about the Epicureans. I'll just start at uh, 18, and you brothers break it down. Oh. This is Acts 17 and 18. It says, then certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered him, him being Paul, and some said, what will this babbler say? And that's how Jake is towards us. <laughs> Other some, he seemeth to be a setter forth of strange gods. Uh, because he preached unto them Yahweh and the resurrection. And they do that to us. 
all the time. They always think we're coming in, in Satan or in Luther, but we're you the true man, the true power of heaven and earth. This is going to show you that what's happening now ain't nothing new. Everything, everything we've been going through, you know, been going back and forth. Even, even when we back it up, you guys still talking shit. You guys are still saying we're of the devil, still saying we're wicked, still saying that we're trying to uh, bring it, bring up the Antichrist. Well, prove it then. Doesn't the scripture say prove all things? If we're so wrong, why aren't you guys? You know, it's the people who don't read the scriptures, who don't even do anything according to the scriptures, coming to tell you how the scriptures are, what's saying behind it, and what you're doing with it, man. But can never validate with any, any, you know? But yeah, they'll, they'll accept any type of philosophy Isa comes with, with open ears, like, oh, I want it? Oh, I'm a Capricorn? The rich man. The, 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 the spread. If they added a new, if they added a new zodiac sign, the Bob Bob, you know, everyone, <laughs> that, you know, it didn't even, it doesn't have to make sense. Oh, what? Yeah, there's a, a new zodiac sign, the Bob Bob, you know, there's a, there's a 13 month that comes out of nowhere once a year. Like, that's how easy it is. It just needs to sound good and just, boom, man, there it is. That's, that's what uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Yeromi was reading right there. Here's something new, man. Wow. That's right. That's, that's right. why that and flat earth then... garbage uh, yeah. came out. And they jumped on it, and they got squashed on the uh, flat earth. That's right. Fucking dumb nuts. This is verse nineteen, and they took him and brought him unto Areopagus, which in the precept is Mars Hill, saying, "May we know what this new doctrine where of thou speakest is." For thou bringest certain strange things to our ears. <laughs> um, <laughs> we would know, therefore, what these things mean. Verse twenty-one. For all the, con, for all the Athenians, <laughs> which were Jakes that dwelt in Athens, and strangers which were there, spent their time in nothing else, but either to tell or to hear some new thing. And that's Jake, man. Con. That's Jake at the barber store. That's Jake on the corner. That's, that's Jake in front of the 7-Eleven, you know? In the debating madness uh, marathon they have, you know? That's them. To the point where he gets to yep. fight, man. And Jake gets so good in what he believes in that he'll scrap for that. Yeah. No. The simple believe it everything. Right. Right. Hey, Jake is dangerous. Jake, Jake today will be a Rastafarian tomorrow in Africa. The next day, he'll believe that he's some kind of Asiatic. <laughs> Shemite. <laughs> some Shemite. Um, and, and the word Athenian, if you look it up in the Greek, it just it, it breaks it down. It says a person who lives in Athens, right? So it's, it's no different than an American. Today, you have which is which is superficial in itself or artificial um all it means is someone a, a dweller of athens so again people read this and you say oh these are edomites you know verse um 22 then paul stood in the midst of mars hill and said "Ye men of athens i perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious that's and that's jake, jake man to a t that's even brothers in the truth, man. They they come in with that superstition shit. That's why one brother, he's not in the camp, but he would be driving, and if he seen a black cat, he'd stop, man. And his car's behind him honking. He wouldn't go. He'd wait till the cat crossed, yeah. you know. And and we have to tell that brother, hey, man, that's you know, <laughs> you gotta fear the Lord, man. When the, when the scripture says fear the Lord alone, you know, because the Lord controls everything. There's no need for these superstitious things, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Um. I want to actually just look up the word quickly. Superstitious in the Greek. Um, which means reverencing God or the gods, pious, religious, in a bad sense, superstitious. Right? That's like fornication on Yeah. Yeah, that's right, because you're giving you're really giving power to something that's that's uh that's why it says in Romans, um, worship the creature more than the creator. Yeah. So if you're if you're given something power, you know, and and you give you give a you give the gods power because you 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 hold it in reverence, man. That's right. They have no power. They can 
the scripture said they're deaf they can neither hear nor eat nor smell you, you know like dagon dagon's a very good uh story in the book of judges man mm -hmm. you know or even um with elijah and baal okay. you know and and elijah even cursed him out he said per adventure where's baal he, he's either sleeping yeah. or he's he's, a, he's in a battle <laughs> you know wake him up gonna be hey he was cursing him out man and that's why we come in that same spirit and people get mad they say no 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 you cannot disrespect someone's religion you cannot you cannot do this you, you, you know they come with this authority this this goddamn fake authority you cannot do this you, you cannot do this no you know but when you when you read in the scriptures man when the israelites got into the land of canaan what did they do did they did they, did they have a religious respect or respect for for the canaanites gods no they tore them down man they destroyed their altars they broke their images man and they melted them with fire you can't be no world order where everybody's um um religious stand, man. You're gonna have only one person dominate over that, which is ridiculous. That really nobody trying to uh, wait anybody's god, especially our power. Our power ain't trying to mess with nobody's nobody's gods, man. It's either you walk in his way or get the hell out of the way. That's and that's exactly what there is no man. You wanna you know, all around us? You're gonna have to say screw your power. You have no power. Your power is from our power. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, and 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 that's why, man, like with the spirit of GMS starting with Apostle Tahar, man, we can't get along with these other groups, man. No like for me, I couldn't imagine being at a Passover and having some Hamite Jake, you know, bugged out of his mind, talking some you hear him talking uh some shit about his gods, man. You know, and and you're at the Passover, and you have to hear that. I get irritated when people come up to camp and and they talk that shit. So, can you imagine being with someone and, and they're not on the same wavelength as you? The, the the spirit is not opened up in them; they're still blind, right? So, how are you gonna get along with those people, man? Yeah, got that, that's why it says, "Can two walk together, lest they be agreed?" Go ahead. Yeah, I, that's because I, that's the scripture I actually didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because at the end of the day, you're going to have arguments, you're going to have fallouts. And then if you're not in order, right, an enemy can come in, uh, uh, what, what I'm looking for, uh, so, not in pale, but uh, if someone goes in and gets information and, like, breaks apart the, the, the group or whatever. You mean like a spy? They can, yeah, they can infiltrate. Your dominion, man, meaning they'll cause all type of chaos and confusion. Mm -hmm. So you guys have to be on one accord so you can know who, who's trying to come in and deceive or disrupt or destroy something. If two people are arguing, going back and forth, man, that's like having a house and half of it's on sand and half of it's on solid concrete. It's going to be a great <laughs> Yeah, like, you, you're done? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Anyone have anything? We can bring in one more and then close up. Right. Actually, I was holding one. This is First Corinthians chapter one verse eighteen. I'll start at verse eighteen. Uh, for uh, yeah. It says for the preaching of the cross unto them that perish foolish foolishness, but unto us it is the power of the most for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. And, um, and that's why today you see the of like like zeitgeist or like conspiracy memes about oh that the Bible's plagiarized and and Jesus and then the cross and all these things you see paul said the the preaching of the cross is foolish to the world man 
um, to, 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 to Jake in the, in the so-called conscious community. We tell you about these things, but, you know, um, j like one Jake in specific, I remember he came up years ago talking about the Kundalini and started bugging out. And he's like, and we asked him a simple question. We said, so where's the prophecies in your book, man? Because he said, he, he said, uh, he reads the Ma'ad or some crazy fucking book. Um, and then he couldn't, he didn't have an answer. But then when we told him about the prophecies, his response was, well, well, it sounds good, but I don't know if it's real. It sounds good though, you know, but now you're finding out, well, guess what? When, when you find out it's, it is good and it's, and it's right and it's true, it's going to be too late. That's right. And, and everybody needs to understand, I don't think it's going to skip you. Everyone's going to come to that realization that they, they and excuse my language. For That's right. This is going to reach that point that you screwed yourself. Okay? That's right. There's no truth in these other books. If you have to always remake a, a book over and over again, there's something wrong with that book. And people like to say, oh, the Bible was uh, written over a thousand times over and over again. Well, it was translated over and over again because guess what? We're in numerous captivities speaking different languages. So in order to understand it had to be translated into those languages. Just like uh, King James had to translate it from Hebrew, Latin, and Greek to English so he could understand what it says. It's no different. But did the words itself change? No. Now these other versions like NIV, there's no point of even making them. That's so you know that these guys are devils and they're deceivers because we all can read English. Why do you need 20 different English versions if there's already an English version? It doesn't make any sense. No. And, them, and them versions that they, that they translate they they not only just further dilute them into garbage because you read certain scriptures in the new in a new version and you're like what the hell is this garbage but they actually take out specific verses because you can type in verses missing in niv or new king james version or all these uh, uh, different new uh, uh, translations and it'll show you what verses specifically are actually taken out um from the original king james and that mm -hmm. shows you Esau's a Esau's a Esau has a lot to pay for, man. Because what does it say in Revelations? Yeah, he that right. addeth or ta or taketh away, yeah. right? right so Esau's man, you you eat them mites, you're gonna get shit, man. You know, yeah. you're, you're literally taking away the word and adding unto the word to the Most High, man. You know, further proving that you think you are the Most High. True. You know, they're trying to be like the Most High. Wait, can I bring that out since? Uh... God. I was I was there anyway. Spirit. This is uh Revelation 22 and 19. Uh no, I'll start at uh 18. It says, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, the most shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in his book. And that reminds me that there was actually a uh, uh, discussion group trying to say that he wants to change the prayer of Yahweh Shai, man. Oh, it's, it's not needed. That the Pope. Yes, the Pope. The Pope said that. Yeah, the Pope said that the prayer. And Yahweh Shai said it, it's not needed, man. It should be changed. Mm -hmm. Like, for what? You know, this is what happens when someone uh, uh, has the ability to actually mess around with the book. Because Yahweh Shai said it's not needed. It's not needed. Another one minute close. Or you want to close oh, okay, that was it. All right, I was just looking for some, but it's all right. All right, so with that, we want to say Kahala, La Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honors unto the apostles, the GMS who rule well and teach well, and salutations unto your brothers and your sisters that take heed. Till next time, we say Kwame Sharala. Shalom. 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 Shalom.